and he wants to either get the odd mushroom or orrery, which is kind of stupid because this only has a uh, has a has an effect if we pick it up, and now it's kind of useful useless. So let's give him that, and that now triples the chance to get a rare card as a once a reward which is so so stupidly good if, if you get a, get a lot of them let's get five block and upgrade that or seeing red I think it doesn't matter. So this guy has plated armor, which means he gets the amount of, of armor that, that's, that's in the d index at the end of uh, amount of block at the end of a turn, and whenever you hit his health bar his, uh, if you damage him without, without him blocking it then he's going to lose some of those plated armor, see? now he's down to 11 definitely block because this means he's going to heal 5 damage or heal the damage he deals to us which is 5 and this guy is really annoying let's just use this Definitely feel no pain. Let's use this, I guess. We're going to end up with 10 damage. This guy is so annoying. Okay, use this. And he's going to block that, so it's not very useful. That's that's annoying. But at least we block all of this damage and we created a copy of Feel No Pain Plus. Which means maybe we're able to draw it later on. <laughs> this now does 39 damage. And the game does not give us uh, the card I wanted. Double tap is cool. The next attack is played twice. And it's a skill. Which means it's going to cost zero when we played Corruption. This effect means that he's going to randomize the cost of our cards. As you can see now, our cards are. The, the cost of our cards are. really weird. Which can be good, but now it was really annoying. <laughs> Alright, let's just block. Um, we could use double tap. The problem is, we can't really block this 18 damage. That was bad. It's such an annoying 
enemy. Okay, at least we're blocking eight of it. Man, those costs are not really... ...in our favor. Definitely spot weakness. Uh, this card uh, deals more damage whenever you play it, or the, the more often you play it. 39 damage, or yeah, let's let's deal 39 damage and on the clap again. I don't think he's going to last six more turns. That and that body slam because we are getting a lot of block with this deck. Um, I think we're able to use every skill. Yes, we are, even every card. Which is great, because now he's down to half of its hit points. But we're going to end up with damage. I don't know why I blocked there. But he's nearly dead, so it doesn't really matter. Wow, oh, let's heal 5 damage. Hmm, let's go for spot, spot weakness, because it might be a bad card that we get from this. And this is always 3 strength. And since we have... Uh, I think it's called Heavy Blade. Which is, a f yeah, which is affected 3 times by strength. Let's upgrade... Corruption or Armaments? The cool thing about Armaments is then that if you upgraded it, if you upgrade it, it's going to upgrade every card in your hand. But corruption only costs two after the upgrade, so let's go for corruption. Um, I'm. I think Master of Strategy is really good because drawing three cards for zero costs and it gets exhausted. That's kind of cool. The relics are not very useful. This gives us one strength for every third attack. Which is not bad, but you know, we don't have a lot of zero cost attack attacks which is something like that this gives you one more energy at the start of a turn if you are for uh, if you have full hp and this lets you see which cards cards you're drawing next let's go for master strategy and Ghostly armor, which is 10 block. Imperial means that if you don't play it in the turn, 